Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, I will talk about how you can append multiple records in the Excel sheet. So in the last lecture, we already discussed about how to read and write Excel sheet in Python. So in case if you are completely new to this reading and writing part, I will highly recommend you to watch this video where we discuss everything about Excel. Okay, so let me quickly show you the previous example that we took and let me make some few changes and then you will see how we can append multiple record into that Excel sheet. Okay, so I'm going to use a list of tuples or you can say set of tuples. It's totally up to you. I will be taking multiple records and finally we will combine them in Excel. So let me show you how you can do that. So this was our last program that we already discussed. So let me quickly show you what exactly we were doing. So we created one blank workbook, then we added some record, then we did some formatting. It was like we are reading one to one records or oh, sorry, we were writing one and one record, right? Now I will take bunch of data and then I will append in this Excel sheet. So let me quickly just remove everything which is not required right now. So I'm just creating a workbook object. Then we are just setting up that uh, sheet name, which is just we are calling title. Then we are capturing the active sheet. Okay, so we got SH1 and now simply I need the records that I want to append here. Okay. So let's say I just want to create some records. I will say a variable called data inside this data. I will take multiple records. So let's say I am just taking list of tuples. So we just created a blank list. Now here, let's say I want to add some data. So first data I, which I want to add, let's say one, then I want to just add some name. Let's say Mukesh. And finally, let's say I just want to add some data. Let's say this 90, this is one set of data, which I have, you can consider as a one row. Now let me use another row. So I will again take another tuple. I will just choose uh, another number. Let's say serial number two. Let me take another record. Let's say Python and let me give some number. Let's say 99. So this is two records. So one row and second row. Now let's say these are just two rows, but you can take 20, 200, 2000. It's totally up to you because concept will remain same. So we have a list of tuples and each tuple is representing a one row. So now how can I append this data? So you can see right now we have this SH1. So let me just run a small for loop. I will say for I in. Now we definitely need the iterable object. So in our case, the iterable object is nothing but this data, right? Put colon. And now you can see this SH1, which is sheet one. I will simply call append method and you can see it is asking give me the iterable which you want to provide so i will simply provide i which is nothing but our one record so let's say right now we have two records it will uh, run two times this right so it will uh, append one record then second record and so on so let me do one thing let me simply run this program and let me just put this as let's say new excel demo so it is going to go so it is going to create one Excel on my desktop and the name will be new Excel demo dot XLSX. Let's save this and simply run and let's wait and you can see it is done now. Let's go on desktop and you can see our Excel is ready. So just double click on this Excel and you can see our record is already appended and this is what we have provided. So one Mukesh 90 and two Python 99. Very easy. It is just you need the set of records that you want to append and just you run your form. So as you can see right now, we don't have any headings, right? Generally, when we have this real use case or real data, first of all, you will have the headings for each column, then you will have the data. So let's do one thing. Uh, let's add the first record, which you can consider as uh, one. Okay, let's take this should be your serial number. Okay let's take this as number then second should be your name and finally you can let's say this is your result i'm just giving some random headings name you can change it depends on your requirement okay and let me quickly add one more record here so these records are nothing but doubles so sorry let me just copy this part Control c and let's Print it once again. I will put three and record. Let's say I want to keep as Java and Java. I will keep, let's say 95. It's a random number. And again, 
If I run the same program, it is going to override my previous Excel sheet. But in case if you don't want to override, you can just make it one. So it will create new Excel sheet with new Excel demo one dot xlsx. Let's run this program and uh, let's wait for the confirmation. Okay, just a second, guys. Something went wrong. Just a second. Okay, there's some syntax warning which we are getting. Okay, we missed one comma here, guys. Just a small mistake can change your complete output. So you can see we were getting uh, one syntax warning. So I was missing one common, uh, comma here. Now let's run it once again. And now you can see we got process finished with exit code zero. And here we go. This is our new Excel with new record. And we also have a heading this time. Okay, so that's a quick video just to show you how you can do that. So I will tell you one real use case that we're going to implement once you move ahead. Okay, so let's take a scenario that you need to identify the broken links in Selenium or any other automation. So you will have the list of links and the status of each link. Okay, so let's say I have five links, link one, and I need to just provide status is okay or pass or fail. So let's say link one pass, link two fail, link three pass, link four fail. So you'll have this kind of uh, you know similarity or you will have this kind of grouping. So what we will do we will call a zip function in Python Where we will zip this list with this list and then we will get a tuple Okay, so once you get your tuple that tuple we will be passing into this Excel sheet So it will be very easy just your core concept should be clear and I will show you how you can do that in upcoming videos Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video if yes, then just like this video and in case if you're new to this channel Then make sure you subscribe this channel and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.